morphology and classification of viruses. So viruses are obligate intracellular organisms and they cannot synthesize their own energy. They cannot be cultured in artificial medium and can be cultured only in cell cultures. Viruses are measured in nanometers that is one billionth of a meter and the range in size is around 20 to 300 nanometers. Viruses cannot be seen with the light microscope because the resolution of the light microscope is limited to about 200 nanometers of a scanning electron microscope is used to view them. Virion is a complete infective form of a virus outside the host cell which a core of RNA or DNA and a capsid. So comparison between a virus and a bacteria. So the, when comparing the properties we can see that the type of nucleic acid in a virus is DNA or RNA. Cells are both DNA and RNA. Proteins are few. Here there is many. Lipoprotein membrane. Here it's enveloped. There is only. And envelopes are present. Ribosomes are absent. There it's present. Mitochondria is absent. In eukaryotic cells it's present. Enzymes are few. There are many enzymes. Multiplication by binary fission is not done or not happening here. But in bacterial cells you have binary fission occurring. So the basic structure of the virus is a core containing of genetic material which is nucleic acid made up of either DNA or RNA. The DNA or RNA may be linear or circular, single stranded or double stranded. Surrounding the nucleic acid, there is an outer coat made up of protein which is called the capsid. The capsid is made up of units called caspermias. The arrangement of caspermias is determined by the architecture of the virus or the nucleic capsid. Caspermias arrangement may be either icosahedral, helical and So, the icosahedral structure looks like a sphere but actually has 20 triangles and 20 corners. Well, 20 triangles and 12 corners fused together to form a spherical structure. So examples of such viruses are poliovirus, rhinovirus and adenovirus. So this is the picture which determines it. So the particle is elongated or pleomorphic and not spherical. Okay, the nucleic acid is spherical. So this is the structure of the helical type of virus. So examples of such helical capsule virus are influenza and measles virus. Then comes the complex forms. So these virus structures have a combination of icosahedral and helical forms. The box virus is the largest of this and has a complex structure with unique outer wall and capsid. Structure of viruses. So here the nucleic capsid may either be surrounded by an envelope. Viruses with no envelopes are called naked viruses. The outer layer of the virus envelope may contain surface spike projections called glycoproteins. The envelope of the viruses is derived from the host cell membrane when the virus is exiting the cell through budding and the infectivity of the other viruses are dependent upon this envelope. So example of envelope viruses are influenza virus, hepatitis C virus and So this is the diagrammatic representation of a virus. So this is a comparison of envelope and non-envelope viruses. I think it is easily understood. Now the nomenclature. Viruses, which names N in viridae, genus is N with virus, example herpes viridae. So here viridae means it's a genus. Sorry, it is a family name. Genus varicella virus, common name is chickenpox virus. This is caused as the viral protocol. One virion replicates inside the infected cell to give 100 of virions approximately to 10 hours. In this way, the virus can spread rapidly from one cell to the another. First, the virus disappears, but the nucleic acid continues to function and the accumulate within the cell. The time taken with no virus is found inside the cell is known as the eclipse period. The eclipse period ends with the appearance of So, this is the viral growth. So the viral replication cycle starts with adsorption, next cycle is penetration, uncoating, the vinyl genome replication and the assembly of the virus particles and its release.
so the first step we'll go step by step in detail so the first step is attachment this is the first step of viral replication the surface protein of the virus interacts with the specific receptors of the target cell surface next is penetration the envelope of viruses like hiv penetrate through the fusion of the viral envelope with the host cell membrane non envelope viruses penetrate cells by translocation of the viral across the host cell membrane or transceptor mediated endocytosis so here you can see that there may be receptor mediated endocytosis present and the viral with the accumulated of the viruses in the cytoplasmic vesicles next is uncoating it is also called disassembly the virus genome is uncoated by removing of the capsid proteins allowing the genome to be available for transcription and viralization next step is genome replication viruses must use host cell machinery to replicate and make functional and structural proteins the first step of viral gene expansion is mrna synthesis different viruses follow different pathways depending on the nature of the nucleic acids and the part of the cell which they can replicate dna viruses especially replicate in nucleus and use post dna dependent rna polymerase to synthesize their mrna most rna viruses replicate in the cytoplasm where they do not have access to the host dna cell so therefore they carry their own polymerase within them so here you can see that they may contain rna polymerase or not if they don't contain their rna polymerase they will carry their own rna polymerase fine next step is assembly and release the progeny of the virus particles are assembled and packed with the viral nucleic acid within the capsid proteins virus particles are then released from the cell either by two of the processes the first is non envelope viruses are released by rupture of the cell membrane and release of the mature particles the envelope viruses may release by budding of the outer cell membrane except in herpes viruses which causes or acquires this envelope from the nucleic acid membrane rather than the outer cell so uh, overview classification of viruses based upon chemical and structural criteria two important components of the viruses are used first is nucleic acid which either be dna or rna second is capsid by size or symmetry or whether it is so this is the classification you can just go through it So DNA viruses. There are seven families of DNA viruses. Four of them are non-endemic eukaryotic viruses, like papillomavirus, poliovirus, and papillomaviruses. Two of them are endemic eukaryotic, like hepatitis B and herpes virus. Pox virus is the largest virus, and the envelop and the internal symmetry, which is complex. Non-endemic DNA viruses: parvovirus, poliovirus, papillomavirus. For example. So, in the DNA viruses, for example, we have hepatitis virus. Next, RNA virus. The genome of all these viruses consists of single stranded RNA, except that of retrovirus, which has double stranded DNA. RNA viruses fall under four groups with different strategies for synthesizing mRNA. Single stranded RNA with positive polarity, that is, RNA has the same base sequence as that of mRNA. These viruses are used here. RNA genome directly as mRNA. Examples: poliovirus, single-stranded RNA of negative polarity. That is, RNA has a base sequence that is complementary to the mRNA. Here, the mRNA must be transcribed by using negative strand as template. Because of the cell does not have any RNA polymerase capable of using RNA as a template, the virus carries its own RNA-dependent. RNA polymerase, negative polarity RNA viruses, either segmented or RNA viruses with double stranded RNA as its genome, except for rotavirus, because of these cells do not have any enzyme capable of transcribing their RNA into mRNA. The RNA virus carries its own polymerase. Single strand RNA of polarity, which is positive, that is transcribed into double stranded DNA by RNA dependent DNA polymerase, that is reverse transcriptase. Which is carried by the virus. The DNA copy is then transcribed into viral mRNA by the host cell RNA polymerase, except for retrovirus. 
So this is summary of RNA viruses. So I think you can go through this. I have taken so much effort to find all these material from so many resources so that it can be easy for students to get a overview. RNA viruses. There are 15 families of RNA viruses. Four are non-endotic asocetral RNA virus, like picovirus, herpes, calci, and rhinovirus. Three are endotic asocetral viruses, like retro, flavi, and toga virus. The remaining eight are unenveloped physical RNA viruses, orthomics of viro virus, rhabdovirus, filovirus, coronavirus, rena virus, bunny virus, and non endotic RNA viruses are picovirus. Now virus, herpes virus, calci virus, and RNA viruses of Levy virus, which is Ecosaurus, Toga virus, also it is Ecosaurus, Retrovirus, Orthomyxovirus, Paramyxovirus, and Rhabdovirus. So here you can see Orthomyx of Para and Rhabdovirus are helical, and the rest are Ecosaurus. Flavi virus is also helical, and Coronavirus is also helical in structure. Adena virus is also helical. Bunny virus is helical. Thank you so much. Take care.